Hi, I have been cleaning, so, but I guess I usually, but I am just a mess. I usually look like that when I do these things. I don't, one of these days, uh, Jesus is going to let me, you know, be pretty <laughs> instead of in the midst, but I guess that's, that's part of, uh, part of being transparent, which is my heart's desire, um, being transparent. Um, so here I am. I have stuff going on. It's springtime. I think a lot of us have stuff going on in our noses and so I feel like I'm in an echo chamber, but, um, and I have my hot tea here because, because I may start coughing in the middle of all of this. So, hey, how you doing? Uh, maybe you just sat down uh, to take a break from cleaning as well. Who knows? So I'm glad to see everybody. And I just had so many interesting conversations lately, a few about why I do these, uh, my Amy's Amenables. And uh, I, I really clearly believe that uh, God's purpose for me is, uh, even if it's just me and you or whoever, who knows who hears this, but uh, someone else that may have been through something similar in their lives and uh, just to encourage people, to let people know that they are not alone and that it is okay to have life happen and then to work your way through it. We, none of us have perfect lives. And we all have things that happen. And, and that's what this is about. Just sitting down, talking about life, talking about things that have happened, talking about um, trials, tribulations, joys, mountaintops, valleys, all of it. Storms. I'm going to talk about a storm today. So um, let me... Okay, I was just hoping that wasn't going to like scald my throat. So this one particular story just keeps coming back. I have heard, let's see, one of the new people I've been listening to, um, his little Instagram thing is I am real Todd. I think his name is something Todd. Todd. I, anyway, I'll have to look that up and, um, <laughs> and put it down in the comments. I love to do that. Um, and then Karen Wheaton, just today, as I was, you know, picking up and, and doing whatever, she's telling the same story. And also um, Stephen Furtick, who's another one of my favorites. I listen to him so much lately. And it just seems like this same story and different parts of it keep coming around. Anyway, so I'm going to tell this, we'll talk about a story um, from the chapter of Acts in the Bible, <clears throat> which is New Testament. And it's about the Apostle Paul. So he's getting ready to um, get on a ship to be carted off to prison in Rome. And he tells the men running the ship that um, it's not a good idea. We shouldn't be doing this. We need to not be uh, doing this right now because there's there's some bad weather. There's going to be a storm and this is not a good idea. So of course they just, you know, poo-poo that. Like, you're, just, you're the prisoner. Of course you're going to tell us you don't want to do that. So here he is um, and he warns them. He warns them. I like that because don't we get warning signs often when we're not supposed to do something, when we're not supposed to make a particular choice that may end up in disaster. So Paul warns the, the shipmates. He warns the people on the ship. We should not be doing this. And they don't have to go through the storm that's coming. Paul warns them. Sometimes don't we get warnings? that we don't have to make the decisions that we're getting ready to make. So Paul warns the ship, we don't have to do this. We don't have to make this decision. We don't have to go through this storm. Now I know a lot of things that happen in our lives, but we, we can't avoid, but a lot of things we can avoid. The trauma that happened to me as a child, um, and I, I grew up, I was so blessed and fortunate. I grew up in a wonderful home with Christian parents uh, that that protected me and, and taught me good lessons and were great mentors. I grew up in a wonderful environment. Things still happen. And some, some traumatic and terrible things still happened to me as a child, even though I was in a wonderful environment. So some storms we cannot control. Other storms, however, we can make sure that we take a different route and don't go through that storm. 
And part of my purpose in doing these is, even though I have chosen to go through some storms, and even though some of the things that happened to me were not necessarily my fault, it is my responsibility to share them and to use them for good. Right there, sums up a lot of why I do these Amy's Amenables. God clearly told me that, you know, Amy, things that happened to you were not your fault. You did not cause them, you did not deserve them. However, it is your responsibility to share them and use them for good. Take what was bad and use it for good. Take what was bad and use it for good. I don't I feel like somebody needs to hear that. Maybe you're in a storm right now. Maybe you're in something bad right now. So take somewhere along the way. You can use what was bad and use it for good. Okay, so back to the, back to this. So Paul tells them there's a storm coming. We should not be on the ship. We shouldn't be doing this. Let's wait a couple days, a couple weeks. Then we'll go. We can avoid the storm. So um, nay, nay, we're getting on the ship. We're going. We are not listening to you, Paul. And that is what I did. I guess that kind of takes me back. My choice to go through one of my storms when my second husband left. I mean, here we are transparent. It, it is what it is. So my second husband leaves. He has an affair, leaves for somebody else. And I am in, you know, a very, I was devastated. I was in this very weak, vulnerable, self-deprecating time. And I chose a certain path for the next several years that I did not have to choose and ended up in an extremely, extremely violent, abusive relationship with an alcoholic addict. And I did not have to choose that storm. I, that I chose to place myself in that storm. And then I chose to stay in that storm. So, so we go through this storm, whatever a storm might be for you in this moment, or maybe from your past that you're trying to get over. Um, there is this storm that, that you didn't have to go through. I didn't have to go through all of that, but I went through it. That was, I chose to get on the ship. I chose to pull the anchor up. I chose to set sail and just, just blast right into the middle of a storm. So here they are. Paul said, well, guess what guys? Here we are in the middle of the storm, raging. It's, and it says in the tempest. So you can just imagine in the tempest, raging storm. And um, you know, when they first started, it says, you know, the wind blew softly and you know, they were just sailing and they were getting closer. And then all of a sudden, a tempestuous headwind arose. And so here they are, the ship is being battle, battered and tossed around. And then it says when, <clears throat> when they're, the, for three days, this happened three days and nights, and then they had to start throwing things overboard. Have you gotten to that point in a storm <coughs> where you have to start throwing things overboard? Okay, life is getting too complicated. I am so overwhelmed. Everything is falling apart. Maybe it's finances. Maybe it's your home. Maybe it's your marriage. Maybe it's your career. Who, you know, maybe it's all of it. And so you have to start tossing things aside and tossing things over because you're sinking. There's this terrible storm. You can't see the shore. The waves are crashing in and you have to start getting rid of things and throwing things overboard. So here they are throwing everything they can possibly, their food, everything overboard so that they can stay afloat. Terrified, maybe, let's just hope we stay afloat. And then after all of that, um, it says finally, they'd finally giving up. All hope was gone. They, they were giving up. There was no hope. They were going to go down with the ship. And then after this is all happening. And when they finally gave up all hope. So here they are in this place of darkness and fear. And Paul says to them, um, New King James Version says to take heart. But the New Living Translation, <laughs> Translation says, Take courage. I like that. And a lot of times we hear people talk about, you know what, even if you're afraid, <clears throat> do it afraid. Even if you have fear, step out and do it anyway. So Paul says, take courage, take heart, you know, be courageous. <clears throat> because, and I put my name in here, it says, um, it says, do not, 
I wrote, wrote all over there. Uh, do not be afraid, Paul. So do not be afraid, Amy. Do not be afraid, Melissa. Do not be afraid, Michelle. Do not be afraid, Anthony. Do not be afraid, Amy. <clears throat> God has granted you. Um, where am I at here? Do not be afraid, Amy. Take heart. Be courageous. I believe that this, what God has told me. <coughs> However, we have to run aground. So even though you didn't listen, even though I didn't listen, don't be afraid, Amy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, guys. Don't be afraid, girls. Don't be afraid, my peeps. Because even though you didn't listen, <laughs> and even though you disobeyed, and even though you went ahead and did it anyway, and you had to go through that storm that you didn't have to go through, you're still going to be safe. Don't be afraid. God already told me you're going to make it through the storm and you're going to be safe. However, you got to run aground. So take courage because you decided to go through this storm. So honey, we're going through the storm. Sweetie pie, sugar dumpling, honey, honey bunch. We are going to go through this storm. But I got you. We're going to get to the other side. Now you're going to have to throw all your stuff off the side of the ship during the storm. And the ship's, guess what? Ship's going to fall apart. Ship is going to shatter. So grab onto a plank. And that's one of those things that, um, I can't think of the guy's name, the one preacher. And he had, he even had like, like planks and he grabbed a plank. You might have to grab onto a, a plank, something, some kind of a lifesaver and hold on till we get to the shore. So hold on till we get to the shore, because at the other side of the shore, I guaranteed you, I promised you, you didn't have to do this. You chose to do it anyway. I am still, God saying, I am still right here with you. I am right here beside you. I am with you through the storm. Things are going to happen because you chose this path, but there is a way out. Hold on. Hold on. Keep praising me in this storm, and we're going to get to the other side, and we're going to get to that island. And once you get there, use what you've gone through and share it. Don't keep it inside. Don't bottle it up because it'll cause more storms. So once you get to that other side, it's going to be okay. So when you hear a warning, heed the warning. Sit quietly. Take some time. Decide whether it's a good idea or not because there may be a storm coming. If you make one of those decisions like we have all done in our lives and we go through that storm and we may have to toss things aside, we may have to toss everything aside. I'm in a period where I am tossing things aside. Life is changing, it's changing rapidly, but I'm holding on. I'm holding on to God's word. I'm holding on to God's promises. I have praised him through the storm. He has gotten me through the storm. I have held on to that plank and he promises us that he will get us to the other side, take heart. Be courageous, hold on, hold on to God's word, hold on to his promises, hold on to your true friends, and hold on to that plank, those, those things, whatever they are, those people, whoever they are, hold on because you will make it through the storm and take courage because you will make it through the storm and you will get to the other side and you will be able to use these things to help your own self grow and become better and also to share with other people and help them to grow and to learn and hopefully not go through the storms that you've gone through, right? <laughs> so, um, amen, amen, sister. I hope um, everybody enjoyed this little story. It just keeps coming back at me, so I figured I should probably go ahead and share this. And I've talked too long today, like I tend to do. Um, have a wonderful day, make good decisions, um, heed warnings, be courageous, praise God through the storm, and hold on to that plank when you get to that point. And if you are already on the other side and those blessings, you know, those blessings are going to flow. They're just going to come at you. They're just, there's going to be buckets of blessings. I'm claiming that one today. Buckets of blessings for all of you um, and for me. So do not be afraid. Take courage. Make good decisions. Heed those warnings. God is with you. You'll make it to the other side. And um, buckets of blessings are coming after the storm. 
So have a great day. Amen, sister. Love you all. And I'll talk to you soon.